My name is Dana Stein and I'm the Executive Director of Civic Works. Civic Works was created because Baltimore has a lot of good youth employment and training programs, but at the time didn't have any, any, any programs where young people learn their skills by doing community service, hands-on community service projects. And at the same time, bring in AmeriCorps members to help out either as teacher aides or provide additional tutoring and instruction to the school kids. So my name is Mohamed Shodende. I'm doing a project called the Project Lightbulb Challenge, which is an initiative to try to get residents to lower the amount of energy they're using. Civic Works operates uh, more than a score of different programs in Baltimore. Um, and, and each of them engages in a particular type of service activity. Uh, my name is James Jones and I work for the Community Lot Team at Civic Works. Once we begin working, I've noticed a, trans, a, a transformation that occurs. It gives the community a, a spirit of, of there's someone out there care about them and that gives them a little hope for themselves. We started out just serving about 20 young adults, out of school youth in our first year of operation and since then we've grown to serve hundreds of young adults every, every year. I'm like helping the community out, like that's just exciting in itself and you know that's what America, being a miracle member really means to me. The idea behind Civic Works uh, starting and running a school of our own came from other programs like us around the country. I'm Michael Frederick, I'm the principal of Reach Partnership School. So the, the transformational school is a new type of school in Baltimore City that started approximately three years ago. It covers grades 6 to 12. The normal capacity for an old-fashioned high school in Baltimore City could be anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 students. I think REACH is a little bit different than other schools in Baltimore City because of the size. We're small, intimate, we know our kids. We do have a health care and construction program that goes with the school that um, people are really interested in. The best thing about the healthcare program, in my opinion, is the fact that they get to go on internships and leave the building. There's three different strands that students who are in the healthcare field can take in, the, in their um, junior year, which would be um, pre-nursing, pharmacy tech, or lab tech. For construction, they also go on internships, which again, I think is the best thing. The construction program also has apprenticeship programs that the students will be involved in during their senior year. The transformation schools were formed to help in a number of areas to include the dropout rate, but also to give students more consistency and familiarity with the school so that they don't change so often and, and lose focus. REACH stands for Reaching for Excellence Academically in Construction and Healthcare. Uh, all the teachers here, they, I can actually say they care and try to help us to be something in life. Each of the administrators know the kids really well. Um, we know what their needs are, we know what their wants are, we know what, what their problem areas are so that we can focus on those to keep them on track with, with their academics. Yeah. 
working with the school system is the best way to try to provide opportunities either for young people who have dropped out of high school or maybe are at risk of dropping out of high school or middle school. The work of all of these sponsors as well as all of our funders have been instrumental in allowing Civic Works to provide all these opportunities for young people to improve their own lives while making a significant difference in Baltimore's communities. And we're very, very grateful for their help. Thank you.